Hello everyone, so this is going to be the last update about this tank for this year of 2023 and I am creating this video just to report that the change of the uh, gravel was a success as you can see in my previous videos I had some um, natural color gravel at the front of the, of the tank on uh, this uh, foreground uh, part but I was able to remove uh, to remove it and replace it with uh, Seekem fluoride black the whole process took me about uh, three days so it was pretty fast and uneasy I also got rid of the micranthemo micranthemoides uh, I replaced it with um, Cryptocurrent parva, which is this small cryptocurrent which grows really really slow. I am currently uh, barely dosing any any birds. I'm just dosing a little bit of um, iron, just like five ml every uh, three or two days. Actually, got rid of the. Uh, of the micrantemoides but some of it survived and it is growing back in again uh, I also have some glossostigma lapnoides growing growing there uh, I got rid of my Rainiki alternate uh, Rainiki Rosenerbi it was growing right here and I replaced it with my uh, Anubis Nana Golden and over here I have a cryptocurrent pink flamingo which is kind of struggling because um, with my previous um, plants uh, with the previous um, uh, plants that were growing at the background I don't remember the name oh yeah uh, dwarf sagittaria I don't know which species of sag sagittaria it was but it was projecting a lot of shadow and the cryptocurrency pink flamingo was uh, almost completely gone but ever since I removed it it's still uh, growing and trying to, to survive that's a new leaf very small though but still growing there and I'm also dealing with this uh, type of algae which is called uh, Cladophora which is really really stolen I got it in, in my plants since um, I first set up this, this tank. Uh, it's easy to remove with hydrogen peroxide, but it always comes back. The only good thing about this algae is that it grows really, really slow, so you can go um, a couple of months without uh, manually removing it, and it's not going to be um, too much of an issue. So as you can see, the, um, the background is black now. So you can actually see the the uh, black background that I have on this tank. Before you couldn't see it because the dwarf Sagittarius was growing um, all over the the background. All right, so yeah, the we have uh, Pelustris is growing great. I actually trimmed it yesterday. That's why it, it looks a little bit uh, droopy, but it will come back in just a couple of days and it'll be fine. Alright, apart from that, um, yeah, I also would like to report that I'm, I'm not changing the, the water every, every week as I used to be doing. Uh, because I have very few fish right now, just some cardinals and danions. I got rid of my epistogramma and replaced it with a bunch of uh, shrimp. I have a bunch of um, cherry, red cherry shrimp, and they have been mu multiplying like crazy. They're really liking this tank. Yeah, I have a bunch of shrimp. Right now, you cannot see many, but as soon as I drop out. An algae wafer, they go crazy for the algae wafer and they all crop together. But I have like maybe a hundred. 
the Luguihia Repens as well as Luguihia Repens um, Atlantis variety is, is doing great actually I had only one little stem and it's growing it's growing nice so yeah this is how the tank will end up looking for the year 2023 I'm still injecting CO2 and I will continue to, to do so 2024. I still have a bunch before it runs out, so I'll keep using it. Oh yeah, and I've been feeding a lot of uh live boots to my to my tetras, they're loving it. Nitrates are still still low between uh, 10 and, and 20 which is uh, less than what comes out of my tap water I get like uh, between 20 to 40 out of the tap so I guess the the plenum is still doing its job let me show you this angle of the tank so yeah, this is the side angle this is my blue we have lustrous. Here's the only problem uh, pipe outflow. So I, I don't care. I don't mind having it because if I don't tell you that I have a, another gravel filter running, uh, you probably wouldn't even notice. But yeah. Alright, so I hope you like it. Goodbye.